Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is November 3rd and this is my weekly shop update. So I've been getting a few things done in the shop this week. Uh, one thing I'll talk about real quick is the cutting boards as always. I did manage to finish up five more of them. I did three of uh, this size, the little smaller ones. I think they're kind of a nice size. I like those a lot. And then I finished up a couple of uh, larger ones or the standard size I guess for this batch. And this is one of my favorites so far. I think that's kind of a cool pattern. It's got a little bit of walnut in there, so you can kind of get a little more contrast going. But overall, I think this is probably my favorite one so far. Uh, and so far, I finished, let's see what we got here. Two, four, six, seven, 11, 12. So I finished 12 of them so far out of the stack, so I still have about halfway to go before I have them all done. But it's kind of nice, if you have a whole bunch of them like this, it's a lot of workers. It's really monotonous and boring to if you were just to go through and try and do them all at once. So what I like to do is just kind of grab maybe five or six at a time and take them through the rest of the process from here. It makes it a lot easier. And I only have so many of these little painter's triangles. <laughs> so I can only do maybe six or seven at a time when I'm actually doing the finishing process. <laughs> That's okay. So the other thing this week is I actually got a lot of work done on that storage wall that I talked about last week. Uh, if you don't recall last week, I was talking about how I had a lot of extra melamine left over from doing the patio, all the forms for all the caps. So I was gonna make some storage for the wall behind me, behind you, in front of me uh, this week. And I think it turned out really well. I got a few units up there. I did do a video on one of them, that's already out. And I recorded video for the other ones as well. So here's sort of what I came up with. I had oh, this one I had talked about last week um, and I'm still kind of like trying to figure out what I'm going to put on these shelves exactly. I built them thinking I had a lot more things I can go up there and once I got them up there I was kind of like well I don't know what to put up here now. <laughs> so I just have like for this this unit over here I just have a chainsaw up there right now. Uh, usually I have that down here on the ground on top of my saw box by my jointer but I just threw that up there for now because I couldn't find anything else to put up there to kind of give you an idea how big that space is. Uh, but the interesting thing about this cabinet is it is basically a shape to be around the dust collection pipe. So this side here's got a nice little angle to it, which makes it kind of interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't really sure what I'm going to put up there. I think this is probably going to stay like that. Um, this is a good place for this saw. And then my other saw, my circular saw can go there. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that cabinet yet, but who knows. On this middle one, I think I'm going to add a brace to the bottom so that it doesn't end up sagging with the weight. You can see it's not really, obviously it's not all that sturdy. I wanted this long span so I could put a whole chainsaw up here with the bar. Um, and this is my smaller one, so I want to be able to put a whole chainsaw up here. So this is a four foot span. So this is a little saggy. So I think all I'll do is put another um, strip underneath it just to get a little more beam strength. That should help a lot. But yeah, this is, I got a lot more storage now. I like, I'm really happy with the way it came out. And like I said, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna put up there. Maybe I'll get some bins or something, some of those plastic totes. That way I can get some smaller stuff up there. All right, time to go outside. I have some nice new slabs to show you. So last week there were two logs out here and now there's just this one. Out of that big log that was next to this one, left. Uh, this piece here is basically it's like a wedge shape. It's tapered from top to bottom. Down here it's about three inches thick and it tapers down to pretty much nothing. So on this piece here I think I'm going to try and cut uh, another piece of eight quarter out of it and I'll get probably, I don't know, a six foot section of eight quarter out of it and I think that's going to be a pretty good use and that log will be all used up. There wasn't a whole lot of um, off cut from the top cut either. Uh, this log I'll work on this week. I'm really excited about it. It's got a couple crotches in it, so it's going to have some amazing figure, I think. And going back to that first log, I was able to get two pieces of 12 quarter or three inches thick, and I was able to get two pieces of 16 quarter, four inch thick uh, slabs out of it. And those were uh, they're 12 feet long and about 24, 25 inches wide. So they were pretty heavy <laughs> and they were quite the bear to move. <laughs> uh, the three inch thick piece, those each had about 75 board feet in them. 
and then the four inch thick pieces had about 100 board feet in them uh, per slab. So we're just kind of guesstimating wet lumber or freshly cut lumber is usually around four pounds per board foot. So those large slabs were actually about 400 pounds and I felt every pound of them as we were moving them. So how did we move them? Well, let me show you. We'll just kind of continue on down here to the, uh, the stack of slabs. <laughs> Okay, so here you can kind of see on the grass actually where the log used to be. It's the clean part. And then you come around here. Here's the path we took. We laid down the off cut here to get us over here. And basically all we did is we dragged the slabs on edge along the lawn over these boards that we laid out. And then we stacked them over here. So this is actually the other end of the log from what you saw last week. And as you can see, the center of the tree had rotted out. And that was fine, or I guess it's fine for me because of what I'm planning to do with these. These are gonna become basically a big dining table for out on the patio. So I didn't really care that this whole, end, this whole place here was missing because I knew I was gonna cut to the left and right of it some, basically some leg and stretcher stock. So this is four inch thick uh, material. And since I really only needed you know, square stock for the legs and maybe slightly more than square stock for some stretchers or something. I'm not too worried about how much width I can get out of it. So this is actually gonna work out really well for me. And then the top two slabs, which are three inches thick, will just become the tabletop. And man, these are heavy and they're huge. <laughs> so I just have them stacked out here for now and I know they're not going to be totally dry by the spring, which is when I plan on starting to make this project. But that's all right, because they're going to be outdoors. It's an outdoor project, so that's not really a concern. And I'm going to be making the table kind of timber frame style. And in that style of construction, you don't really work with dry wood anyway. So all the joints are going to be pegged. They're actually, they're probably going to be drawboard. So the moisture really isn't going to be too much of a concern for me. And if it does split or check, as it's drying more after it's being constructed that's only going to add to the look of the overall table so that's all i have for this week thanks as always for watching i greatly appreciate it if you have any questions or comments about anything i talked about today or anything here in my i guess it's my backyard or back in my shop please leave me a comment i'd be happy to answer any questions you might have and i always appreciate those and until next time happy woodworking <laughs>